So if it's your home on the market and it is stuck and you're wondering what is going on because your showing activity has gone to a crawl and you wonder if you're ever gonna sell and you're wondering what is wrong, let me tell you, you are not alone. Um, I will tell you, and it's very important that you understand certain dynamics that occur in the market when you list your home, um, that it's going to happen to all sellers if you let certain things take place. So as always, let's take it from the very top. We want to prepare and do all the things to make sure our listing has a great chance to make a first impression, all these things. Understand that we hit a certain price point that's not going to be completely out of range and then have a plan for how to adjust the price over time. This is important no matter what because it is incredibly important to understand that when you are new, there is a sense of urgency in the buyer's mind. This is a time when you as a seller have the most power when you newly hit the market. Now, all is not lost. If you're sitting, you can refresh that and start over and come up with a new plan and a new refresh, a new fresh start, take new pictures, market it fresh and do all the things again as though you're new and kick it, kick start it again. But it's incredibly important to take it to the top and understand that the buyer's mindset is first going to start from a sense of urgency like, I must act now to get this house, to not lose it to someone else. This is a common human nature thing. This is the way people's mindset starts from a sense of urgency. I must act before I lose it. And they're acting out of a sense of fear of loss. And it shifts over into an area of concern. So over time, the longer you're listing it on the market, pretty well all the buyers are concerned about why it's not sold and what might be wrong with it. And this is 90 plus percent. That is a conservative figure as to how that mindset among the buyers is always there. 90 plus percent of the time, especially if your market, your home's been on the market for a few months, buyers are now just wondering what's wrong with it, why it hadn't sold, and they're really not concerned about acting quickly because they're not gonna lose it to someone else because it's been on the market a while, it hasn't moved. So what is their chance of losing the house if it's been there and sitting there for a while? Whereas when it's new, I might lose it by the open house this weekend, I need to act, okay? So when we understand this, as a seller, we understand this mindset, then we understand that by the time we go list and we are live, the clock is ticking. So we need to have that plan and we need to make sure that we do not stagnate. And stagnation is a thing for all sellers. This is the thing that we're up against that we do not want to happen because once that sets in, whereas when we were new, we could count on a certain amount of showings in a week. First week and second week was very active. Third week and fourth week, if we don't adjust the price or do something to make it fresh and keep it fresh over time, then all of a sudden that showing activity and the chances to get an offer falls off and now we are stagnant and we're just hoping for a showing in the next week or two. We don't know when it's gonna come. And the same is true for the potential to get an offer because those two things move together. So once we understand that stagnation, then we understand there's so many different things that can hang you up. Um, we don't wanna experience that. And if so, we need to restart take a whole new batch of photos again, come up with a fresh plan again, look at our pricing again, try and be up where we can adjust it a little bit over time to keep us fresh and relevant. And once we understand those things, then we're not so shocked when we stagnate a little bit. So I hope that helps. Have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.